And let's have a look at this then. So the problem I have is, as we've said already, I've got two unknowns, x and y. And I need one to find the other. I don't know what x and y are, but I do know for this situation, this is crucial for this to work, that whatever x and y are, they're the same in both equations. So they have to be related. I can't just make up any... Um, have two completely unrelated scenarios and expect to be able to find it. X and Y must represent the same values in both equations. That's taken as red. What I'd like to do is to try and get rid of one of these. And if you look at this first one, I could rewrite that in terms of X or Y. Instead of writing X plus Y equals 30,000, I could move either the X or the Y over here by subtracting it from both sides and I'll have x equals something or y equals something. So I can say from 1, x, let's use x, could have done y, equals 30,000 minus y. How might that be useful in equation number 2? I now know that x equals that expression there, 30,000 minus y. So what can I do? Exactly. Good word. I can substitute in to this equation number 2. Instead of x, I can write that expression. So let's do that. Substitute... in 2. I substitute that expression into 2. So I rewrite number 2, but instead of x, I'm going to write that expression. 0.05x, which is now this expression, equals 2,100. Nope. I left off the other bit, didn't I? Plus... 0.08y equals 2,100. Can you see now that this is solvable? This is solvable because there's only one unknown now, y. So it is solvable. All I need now is my knowledge of algebra my growing confidence in the rules of algebra, all I've got to do is fiddle around with that equation and get y equals something. So similar to the drill, I need to just expand out those brackets, collect together like terms, end up with what y is. So I'll just pause this while you have a go. So hopefully you've got this. Expand out the brackets, collect together the y's, subtract 1,500 from both sides. Divide by 0 0.03 and you've got y equals 20,000. So I now know what y is. I'm almost there now. Looking back to the original problems, 1 and 2 were the two equations I had. If I now know y, I can look back at either of these equations. doesn't matter which one I use. Plug in my value for y that I now know to find x. So I'll probably go for the easiest one, which is this one here. Put in my value for y, calculate x, and we can almost see that by inspection, that x is going to be 10,000, isn't it? So how would I do this? I would say now, substitute y, my value for y, back into 1. Equation 1 to find x, and x equals 10,000. So she invests 20,000 at 5% and 10,000 at 8%. So looking at this, just again, check the method, because this is the second method, probably the most powerful way to solve simultaneous equations. What I do is, I look at my two scenarios, so I've set up my two equations, the most difficult bit. And then I've rearranged one of them 
so that it reads y equals something. I could have let it be x equals something, but I get, I rearrange it so that I've got an expression here for x. And then I go back to the other equation, the, the one I didn't rearrange, and substitute in, instead of x, that expression. So that's what I have here. And then I have an equation with only one unknown, y, so I can solve it. So I use algebra to solve it. Once I've got my value for y, I then put that back into one of the first two equations to get x. There's one more thing I'd like to do. If I was an engineer and this is a problem and I had to be sure the answer was right, what might you do now? Use the other one and do what? Check it, yeah, check. Put your values for x and y back into the second equation. We now know what x and y is. So is 5% of x plus 8% of y 2,100. Check. And then, if you're right, you, you'll know you're right. So check in the other equation you didn't use. Check in 2. Does 0.05% of 10,000, I think it was, plus 8% of 20,000 equal 2,100? And I might have put them the wrong way around. So, And then, if you're right, that will come out. There is a third method. First method, graphical. Plot it. Second method... By substitution. In other words, we fiddle around with them so we get x or y equals something and substitute in. The third method is what's called elimination, and that's probably the method that you might be familiar with going back to school, how you solve simultaneous equations, and something we focused on in the BTEC a couple of years ago, probably. And that method is to multiply equation 1 or 2 by something, so that x is the same in both equations. So if I were to multiply that first equation by 0.05, I'd have 0.05x plus 0.05y equals 0.05 lots of 30,000. And I'd have 0.05x in both equations, and then I could subtract one from the other to get rid of the x's. I'm not going to go through that in detail. I'm going to leave that for you as a home exercise. Look up the elimination method, the third one, and see how that works. I'm not going to do that because it only tends to work if for linear values of x, and we'll see that we will, don't always get linear values, this substitution method is by far the most powerful because that works in every situation. So that's the one I like to use in every case except for very straightforward ones.